Hi, my name's Ricardo and we are Speechmatics. We convert audio to text. Essentially think of a Siri that isn't rubbish. So imagine a Siri that works or being able to understand what people are talking about. Imagine being able to get a transcript after every phone call or being able to search any audio or video for any point using keywords. That's what we do, that's what speech recognition is. Now, the number of applications are huge. There is media monitoring, transcription houses, IVR, the Internet of Things. The, uh, the, um, the industry is valued at well over $100 billion. Consistently, it's growing at 16%. And because of this, it is a busy industry. There's a lot of companies there, but we know we outperform them. And the problem is that up until now, really, speech hasn't quite worked. Why is that? It's been, the accuracy hasn't been good enough. It's been too expensive and it's been difficult to implement. So we thought, how do we address this problem? So what we did was we took 30 years of speech recognition experience at the University of Cambridge using machine learning, recurrent neural networks, deep learning. We created a solution that is genuinely the most accurate solution out there. I invite you all to test it. We then put it in the cloud to make sure it's scalable so that our thousands of users can use it very simply at the click of a button. And we have, as I said before, we have the most accurate system. We use client and competitor testing to show this. We outperform the market leader by 50%. And we have global device manufacturers, many of you whom are holding them right now, saying that we are better than Nuance, we're better than IBM. We also go to lots of conferences to continue to sort of keep at the cutting edge as well. However, that's the, uh, I can talk about the accuracy, but really that needs commercial validation. So we started commercializing a year ago. Within three months, we'd signed a seven-figure license deal. I would like to point out at this point that when we were five people, we are now 20 people. We are fully cash flow funded, we are cash flow positive. We've had no external investment, and this is all off the back of the accuracy of our technology. As you can see over the years, th over the year, these are the companies we started uh, to work with, and that has led to uh, where we are today, a team of 20 people. Now, what, you, um, what at the moment you will see is we've currently got the Speechmatics platform as it is, but what we want to do is take audio, transcribe it as we do, and then we want to split it up into three minute, five minute chunks, give it to um, individuals who will then look at the, the vague errors that there are, they change them, they stitch it back together, and we create what is a perfect human transcript. What this means is that we can create a 100% accurate transcript in minutes instead of days, at half the cost it would cost a normal transcription house to do so, and most importantly, we get money not only from the, uh, the recognition, from the platform, but also we get data. We get 100% transcribed audio, which is key for building new models. Now, moving forward, most of the money that we've made so far has been from licensing and OEM deals, and this is where the big money in speech recognition lies. So we're going to use the money from that to fund this transcription model, and the key at the end of the day is we want people to be able to go to be going out for a drink and say, you know what, I'm going to do some speechmatics uh, transcription, make some money, send the data back. We get the audio. This gives us 100% transcripts, which gives us data that even uh, the likes of Google can't get. We then use this to build more speech recognition systems, more OEM, more licensing deals, and it's a, vicious, it's a virtuous circle like that. Thank you very much. Three minutes have passed. <laughs> and now four minutes for the judges. Thank you. Uh, you said that you are fully funded, you earn money, etc. Uh, simple question, what would you do if you won the prize that, uh, so how, how would you spend this money and for what, what, what would be the result? So the, m the main reason we're here is because we know we have a great product, but we've only been around for one year. We want to take, we want to sort of get as much notoriety as possible, we want to be known by everyone so that we can continue to sort of build cool things and fund what you saw there was sort of stage two of what we're doing stage three is uh, we want to sort of be able to get investment to uh, create a whole platform where we're creating speech as lego blocks so we want people to be able to transcribe their audio inaccurate audio they transcribe it they get it better we then can create models and we create what is for everyone very very simple lego that they can create their own speech recognition systems so let's say in any of the sort of the world crises you have speech recognition we want it for every language for every domain for every specific area and so the funding and the investment would allow us to essentially build this, um, build this platform, which then gives us the data to build the, f uh, the future models. You pre presented a list of current clients, what they actually do with your product. Um, so you have uh, media monitoring companies, so they will sort of listen out for whenever a, uh, for example, if Google is mentioned, they get a ping every time it's mentioned so that they can say what areas they're being talked about. We help transcription houses speed up their uh, transcription process. We do subtitling, work uh, with companies like uh, the BBC and Broadcast, um, but uh, sort of contact center solutions as well. Imagine um, you put a phone call down, you get a transcript immediately, you can see which phone calls sort of uh, lead to sales and which ones don't. And then you can sort of start using the data from that, perform mean sh machine learning on top of it, and use that to sort of start automatically saying, the phone's gone down, we know that this sale is more likely to lead uh, to success, therefore we should concentrate on this client. 
contact center solutions, essentially. Okay, but what makes you so confident about your technology? Um, the main reason is because our CTO was using recurrent neural networks in speech recognition for his PhD at Cambridge University in the 1980s. This didn't really become cool again until about four or five years ago. We were speaking to, um, to uh, engineers at Google last year. We found out that they based their system on his PhD work from the 80s. But he's been working on that for 30 years. And so what we've, we've got him leading it forward, but also our team is a very sort of small commercial team. There's only four of us, 16 developers. We're continuing to grow the developers. What we want to do is sort of be able to keep ahead of the game, keep developing, and essentially sit back. And we know that speech recognition is our, our baby. So we work as an API platform. We don't want to create lots of stuff around speech recognition. We want to sort of create an API platform. People integrate it into their product. We build the engine. They fly the plane. So my, my question would be, who is the biggest company right now in this space beside you guys? The biggest company is Nuance. Um, but at the moment, we outperform them. Well, sorry. We, uh, we know that sort of we outperform market leaders very comfortably in that area. Uh, also, we know that they are moving away from speech recognition. Um, and so the market is very much up for grabs. Why do you think they are moving away from it? Because they simply don't have the accuracy anymore. Uh, they used to uh, very much have, um, they would always buy the best companies and uh, okay. sort of take the best, um, the best employees in those areas. But with the advent of people like Google and Facebook and Amazon, they can no longer uh, pursue and the model. Out of all the use cases that you've mentioned, like what is the number one use case you want to pursue? Just one. I think the transcription platform is the most important one because we will always need to be able to have stuff indexable, but uh, ultimately we want to be able to bring speech recognition to everyone. Like you have with emails, if 30 years ago the idea of getting me able to sort of get a free email or a free letter would never have existed. We want to do that with speech. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Four minutes have passed.